Hey y'all, I just got this new lens. Um, trying to figure out how it works, so bear with me as the camera is in my face. It's, um, shit, I don't know. It is a 1.8 50 millimeter lens and I love it, it's so beautiful. Like, look at the focus on that. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Well, hey, oh, this is extremely close to my face, hold on. So I'm gonna do kind of the opposite of a get ready with me. I'm going to let you, I guess, de-stress with me. So I just got off of work. It is, let's see. It is 6.22. Waiting for the focus. There we go, 6.22. And I just got off of work. The barracks room, it's a little bit messy. So bear with me as I am a stinking mess. So. I'm just going to set my camera up and show you what I do after a long hard day of work. When I say hard day, I'm not really doing any work, but my hair looks insane. And I'm just gonna vlog my night for you really, just if, in case you're wondering what's it like in the life of a friggin' US Marine, here I am. And there we go, I switched the lens because that one was definitely not a filming lens. This is a Sony 600, a 6000, I'm sorry. This lens is a 3.5, 5.6 with 16.50 millimeters. I don't know, I don't know too much about cameras and lenses. But anyways, you can see this is a different view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prop my little camera up right here and show you how I de-stress and get rid of, well, not get rid of. How I de-stress and get out of my camis. So I'm just gonna vlog this for you. Oh, this is my Japanese candy that I got from Asia. And excuse the mess, I'm so sorry. So I start and I take my blouse off. This is the best thing when you get home and you can take your blouse off. In case you're wondering what my belt is. In the Marine Corps, we have martial arts. It's called Marine Corps Martial Arts, hence the name McMap. So you have tan belt, which is the very first belt you get in boot camp. You have gray belt, green belt, brown belt, and then black belt. And then after that, for any belt between green and black, you could go and be an instructor to actually instruct these, cor these courses and help Marines earn their belts. I am a brown belt. I hopefully will be working for my black soon. It just keeps getting put off, but yeah. Goodness, these feel so good. Don't mind the socks, sir. Um, I'd never match my freaking socks. <laughs> Marine Corps issued or not, they do not match. And then, don't worry, I have leggings underneath. I wear leggings underneath because it is cold for me right now, so they keep me warm. And here's my dirty clothes right here. You can see my little toes. And here's my little closet. It is full, like you see this? Something's like sticking up. It is full. This little closet is not enough for the amount of clothes I have. I also have these. These have food in them. These have clothes. I keep all of my, I keep my socks and my green skivvy shirts and basically just like underwear in there. This is one of my personal drawers I have. The first one I have bras. The second one I have underwear. And the third one is nothing but leggings and they don't fit anymore. So I had to put them in my little stand. So this is them right there, you can't see. And then I have this. And I just have um, shorts. Oh, fuck. Shorts, like um, workout shorts and then I have uh, it's just, I don't know, just, I don't know. This is just jeans. This is just like random shit. This is a skirt, super cute. I could do a little room tour, but yeah. And then this is my bathroom. I'm not gonna show you everything because it's kind of messy and there's me. So, here's me looking crazy. I need to take my bun out, but yeah. 
Barracks life is really not that bad. A lot of Marines make a big deal out of it, but I don't think it's that bad. This is me. This is me. I could do an updated get ready with me if y'all want, but this is like the opposite of that. But yeah, so I'm about to go take a shower and I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, everything. so I'm out of the shower. Sure. But like, it doesn't have to be. I am currently obsessing over James Charles. And show you what I'm wearing. I am in some Victoria's Secret sweats. And um, a Houston Astros jersey. And now I'm just gonna brush my hair. So whenever I'm brushing my hair, what I use is this Kentu Shea Butter. It's a detangler, I really, really love it. Oh, I forgot, I didn't use any makeup from over for my mascara I had on. But I do wanna show you, if you are a military girl and you have damaged hair because we have to put gel in our hair every single day, and if you have, you know, this thinning right here, I have a solution for you. So this has been working for me for the past two months or so. I noticed that I'm not thinning and actually I think I feel like my hair is growing back a lot thicker on this side because I have less since I part my hair to my left side right here um, I have less hair right here so this hair is coming back thicker and I'm gonna show you what I do what I do this is all I use for my hair and this is why I wanted to do an up updated get ready with me M Marine Corps military how to do a bun update I use this no gel no nothing this is the gel I used to use it was amazing but however gel does damage your hair so I use this in my hair I burnt something on it <laughs> I just put it on and I just put it right here put it on my sides you can melt it I usually um, I don't have the time to melt it and stuff so I just put it in my hands and I use this and I put it in my hair and then hairspray and then, girls in the military, we have to wash our hair pretty much every single day to get the gunk out of our hair, right? This is what I use. This is sulfate-free shampoo. It was only $5 at Walmart. I'm no hair and beauty guru, but this stuff has really been making my hair feel a lot healthier. So I've, when I'm washing it every single day, I'm not putting all the harsh sulfates in my hair. So my hair does feel a lot better. This is how long it is now. I'm probably gonna cut it. You probably can't see that, huh? Let's see. Hey, you can't see it. But it's been uh, really helpful to my hair. I repeat myself a lot. I'm not that comfortable with the camera yet. This is my Morphe makeup remover brush. This is my Morphe makeup remover brush. This is my Morphe makeup remover towel and it's extremely beneficial. I love it because I could just um, wash it off with soap and water and reuse it. I've had it for over a year now and it's super reliable. So, and I think I, whenever I wash my, at night, I don't wash my face at night. I only wash it in the morning because then my skin will dry. And here's my natural skin. And currently I am waiting for my boyfriend to come to my room because, well he's not coming to my room, but we're spending the night at our friend's house because we're babysitting. So this is my little camera bag. It's broken as you can see. This is my little Ulta bag. I bought a bunch of new makeup. I'm probably gonna do a little like haul, like little haul video. But I don't know, I don't know yet. But anyways, yeah, this is me after work. And I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep filming tonight because we have a lot going on tonight. So I'm gonna show you my busy life and maybe this video will be entertaining for you. Who knows? But yeah. Since I am going to a friend's, I'm packing a bag up. So this is all I have is shorts and a t-shirt to sleep in because I'm coming back in the morning and then oops it's my lady time so I gotta bring one of those with me put it in the bag 
take my makeup and my camera bag with me. video so what's your name and tell me what your role is in all this um my name is jonathan hi 23 texas okay i didn't say tell me about your life i told me said i said tell me your role in all this big daddy ew <laughs> oh fuck you're filming i forgot you are ugly <laughs> What, what role we have right now? What do you mean? I'm just talking about what I do after work. Oh, I literally give you all the attention that you need. No, because you were in the other room. Dad, get ready. For what? Where are you going? We're oh. going to go make some food. Oh, wait. We're not going to go pick up my stuff? All right. All right. But first, we're going to go get your ring light. Wait, I didn't text them and ask. So I'm going to unrecord to them. That sounds so gross. I don't know what I was thinking, only getting this little thing of milk. When widely greased, we're going to add the green to add our can of our mushroom soup right here into a bowl. Make sure you get it all out. Now you're going to add your three-fourths of a cup of milk and... So, me and Jonathan are currently making green bean casserole for the battalion. Can you, Bella, get? I know you want to help. Come on. Come here. Come here, Bella. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. What are you doing to help? Oh, oh my god, look at her. Look at her. No, I don't have anything for you. I'm draining the green beans. Um. Oh wait, you're the better mixer. I don't know why I'm mixing it. This is ugly. Can you not get my face? Baby, you need to have a steady hand. I probably should add more milk to this. Excuse you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry I was in your way. Sorry, I'm recording here. Are you gonna mix? You're a lot better at mixing. You're gonna say that you don't want to do it. No, you really are. Every time you make the brownie mix, it's so good. What? Mix it like a polo bread. Sure.
Jonathan went to the bathroom, but I am currently finishing up my green bean casserole. It was kind of rushed. It didn't have all the right ingredients. Like I don't think I had enough milk. It's a bit chunky, but I think it I think it still tastes pretty good. So just gonna try a little bit. Mmm. Okay, it's good. So now I'm just gonna finish off by popping it. I live for this stuff. Okay, here it is. My green bean casserole. Ah, I just dropped something. My oven is set at 350. It's still preheating, but I baked this about two years ago. I don't remember what the time measurements were. I'm gonna open some of these. I'm gonna open now. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check leave it for 10 minutes and then check back in on it. So it's been approximately 20 minutes since we put the green beans in the oven and we're about to sample them to see if they're ready. If not, we'll probably leave them in for like another five minutes. Did you see me bump into the wall? No. Okay. But the camera got it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so the camera, that's what I'm asking. 